Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. It's week six post-op and I'm doing a special vlog sharing my top tips for getting through cosmetic surgery. I've just finished a workout. It was a legs workout with a treadmill hit. I didn't think a few weeks ago I would ever get back to doing this, so it feels brilliant that I have. Um, and yeah, my top 10 tips start with doing your research. Go onto YouTube watch an operation being performed, see what it is that you're going to be putting your body through, um, understand all of the pros and cons by following other people on Instagram or in cosmetic surgery groups and really get a feel for you know, the, the journey that people go through before you go to your consultation. Because then when you do go to your consultation, you'll be armed with lots of questions that will help you get the most out of that step. My second tip is to prepare yourself mentally. This is no easy ride. Um, it's certainly more difficult than a C-section in my view. I think speaking to other people about their experiences is helpful. Understanding that you're not going to come out of hospital with a beautiful Tommy on day one is equally helpful. And think of this as a 90 day plan. Um, because I think it takes roughly that amount of time for the results to start to show themselves. So don't expect everything on day one and also realise that you're going to be very emotional and quite unstable for a few weeks because of the general anaesthetic and all of the, um, the pills and things that you need to take. But equally, you know, you'll be letting go of a big part of you um, and trying to adapt to a new you and that takes some mental courage and it's all about going through the change curve so get yourself ready for it. Take photographs is my third tip and take them in lots of unflattering angles. You know the ones where you're sort of leaning over and it's all hanging down, <laughs> um, the one where you're lying on your side in bed, the one where you're facing forward um, and again it's hanging out. Get your apron out if you've got one. Um, while that's not pleasant to look at, before the operation, after the operation, you can do comparisons and you'll be really pleased that you took those photos. Fourth tip, rest. Rest, rest, rest. I was getting myself in a right tizzy in the first week because other people who'd had the op seemed to be out and about and doing lots and, and I really couldn't. But I told myself that I was going to rest for at least two weeks before I attempted to do anything like walking or anything. Um, and I'm so glad that I did that because I think in the, in the end it's really helped my recovery. So rest as much as you can and let other people do things for you. Fifth tip, swelling, swell hell. Yes, you will get it unless you're extremely lucky and it will last a long time. It's usually worse in the evening than it is during the day, but I found that wearing my compression garment and my binder has helped it a lot. Taking bromelain and eating pineapple has also helped. But in the end, it's just one of those things that we need to get used to. And one of the things that I found useful was measuring my legs, my hips and my waist and doing that every few days so that I could see the progression, plus taking photographs. And when I look back now to my day five swelling, which had me in tears because it looked so awful, um, the difference is staggering. So that really does help. Sixth tip, probiotics. I started to take probiotics in the first week. 100 billion strength probiotics and man they made a difference like literally overnight to the amount of swelling that I was getting so highly recommended and they're great for gut health too. Seventh tip is all about practicalities so things like having a v-shaped pillow in bed really helps. Having a grabber that allows you to pick things up off the floor without bending over or get things out of the washing machine. Really helpful in the first few weeks. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you think about practicalities and I've got a vlog on my pre-op shopping list um, that talks about some of those things. 
Um, eighth tip is really about eating well. So for the first sort of four weeks, every time I ate a meal, I felt like my tummy was going to explode. And I think from a recovery perspective, it's really important to get really good nutrients, good balance of protein, carbs and fats, and to take in the right carbs so that you don't bloat. So things like medjool dates are amazing, oats are amazing. Whereas I try to avoid bread, rice, pasta, the things that pre-op would bloat me up anyway. Um, but eating well and good nutrition, I feel, has contributed to a really quick recovery. Lots of water, obviously, too. So in the first four weeks, I was drinking five litres of water a day. And now I'm back down to my normal sort of three and a half, four litres. Back pain. It's a real challenge, certainly it was for me. Um, for the first few weeks, well, for three weeks actually, I was sort of like this, um, bent over, couldn't straighten up. And, and my surgeon, Mr. Ahmed, said that he hadn't done a good job if I could stand up before three weeks. Um, and yes, he proved it. Now, what that meant for the first week is that I was in, in a lot of pain in my back, probably more so than in my tummy. Um, and one of the things I found helpful, other than resting, was having a hot water bottle stuffed down the back of my tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> um, so that was really, really good and something I would recommend. Heat does wonders. I think final tip is only compare to your before photos. There are so many other people going through this journey, but they are not you and you are not them. And if you compare to other people, it can leave you disheartened or feeling like you're not doing well enough or feeling like yours doesn't look very good compared to others. The only thing you can do is compare it to your before photo. There'll be a period of time probably where your clothes don't fit and that's cool because I guarantee you in a few weeks time they will. Um, so just hang in there. Think about it as your journey, your journey to be in the best version of yourself. And if you can keep that in mind, I think you'll go through it and be absolutely fine. For me, it's been a lot tougher than I expected it to be and quite challenging at times. Um, you know, when I think back to that first week, oh God, it felt like climbing a mountain most days. Um, but that said, I absolutely have no regrets. I think, you know, when I look in the mirror now, it's so liberating to see that the loose skin has been removed. I have far from a perfect tummy. You know, there's still chubber on there, there's still loose skin on there at the top um, because I didn't want the fleur de lis. Um, there are elements of it that, you know, aren't perfect. I've still got stretch marks at the bottom. I'm, I'm nearly a 40 year old woman and I've had two children and I've lost eight and a half stone. You know, my expectations are not that I will have the body of an 18 year old. Um, and I think that's important. You know, you've just got to get in your mind that this sort of operation will help you to look better than you did before in most instances and keep your expectations real and don't be thinking that you're going to be perfect because you won't um, but you'll be a million times better and a million times happier than you were before and it really is in my view worth all the pain worth all the struggle and worth every penny um, and would I do it again a couple of weeks ago I was saying no <laughs> but now that I'm at the six week point yes I would um, it feels phenomenal in a way that I can't even describe. So if you're about to go through it or you're thinking about going through it, masses of luck to you. Um, enjoy it, learn from it and good luck.